RWBY because I'm very, very late on this reaction. Hey, what's going on, Utakus? It's Zach the Jedi Utaku. I am extremely late on this reaction, so I apologize. If you can see, I've got some boxes and stuff. I'm moving, and I will no longer be at my apartment, so there's been some moving around kind of stuff going on. What's going on, guys? It's Zach the Jedi Utaku. I am so sorry about this reaction. It's very late, I know, and I apologize for that. It's because I am moving, and I've had all kinds of uh, you know stuff going around and all kinds of moving pieces. I just haven't been able to get to this. Uh, so this is going to be sporadic for the next couple of weeks, uh, this week, next week in particular. Uh, after that, it should be good and back to being on schedule for Wednesdays and Thursdays for RWBY. Uh, and then actually... When that happens, when we're done, eventually, uh, I will need a new series to do for uh, my Wednesday and Thursday. So I am looking to you guys to let me know what series you want me to react to uh, in this kind of format that we've been doing for RWBY, where I do my kind of recap and uh, thoughts and theories, then the reaction, and then my uh, review of the episode. So let me know what you guys want me to do and, and what we, we could do next. Um, but let's just get into the next one. We've got RWBY Volume 2, Chapter 7, Dance Dance Infiltration. Dance Dance is falling apart. All right, ready? Play. Let's do the shit. <laughs> Lots of characters this time around. Ah, ha 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 ha. Ironwood. I see you're hiding at the punch bowl too. Yep. To be socially awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry things didn't work out with Weiss. Meh, it's fine. Neptune's pretty cool. I get why she went with him. What do you mean? Well, come on. Not many people can pull off blue hair. No, I mean, Weiss came to the dance alone. <laughs> uh, what? Really? Yeah, she said she had too much to focus on to worry about boys. <laughs> Making fun of her? Uh, hold my punch. Hmm. <laughs> All right, John, you're gonna get in on this. Ah! Come on! Come on, Pira! Pira! John, don't! No! Hey, yes. Pira! Yes. Hello, John. You okay? I haven't seen you tonight. Arrived late, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, you look really nice. Thank you. Your uh, date isn't going to beat me up for saying that, is he? I think you're safe for tonight. So, where is the guy? There is no guy. <laughs> what? Nobody asked me. Uh, but that's... Uh, your Pira Nikos. <laughs> How could nobody ask you? I've been blessed with incredible talents and opportunities. <sighs> I'm constantly surrounded by love and praise. But when you're placed on a pedestal like that for so long, you become separated from the people that put you there in the first place. Yep. Everyone assumes I'm too good for them, that I'm on a level they simply can't attain. It's become impossible to form any sort of meaningful relationship with people. That's what I like about you. When we met, you didn't even know my name. You treated hmm. me just like anyone else. Yeah, and thanks that makes to you, sense so much. I've made Love friendships that. that will last a lifetime. I guess you're the kind of guy I wish I was here with. Someone who just saw me for me. Oh, she just told you, come on. Take that as an advantage. Wait. Hey, 
John, right? Yeah. This part's Damn pretty it. lame, huh? I mean, ballroom dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Cute girls, though, huh? Is that all you think about? Huh? Do you even care about the girls you're hitting on? How they feel about you? Whoa, where is this coming from? How could you just turn her down like that? Wait, who? Weiss! I, uh... It, uh... It just didn't work out, you know? What? You think you're too cool? Too many other options? Why Schnee asked you to the dance? What in the world could possibly keep you from going? I can't dance. Beg your pardon. <laughs> I can't dance, man. Oh, so not expecting cool. that. Cool. Thank you. I try really, really. <laughs> <laughs> that turned around Can really quick. Break a girl's heart and go to a dance alone, then just admit to everyone that you can't move in rhythm to music. That about sums it up, yeah. <laughs> I certainly feel a lot better about myself. Please don't tell anybody. Look, if you want wife, yeah, she's yeah. all yours. I don't want to get in your way. Do you like her? Yeah, I mean, I don't know her too well yet, but she seems pretty cool. Then just go talk to her. No pickup lines, no suave moves. Just be yourself. I've heard that's the way to go. Yeah, but that hey. You don't have to look cool all the time. In all honesty, if you could be a little less cool, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, stop being so yeah. damn cool, Neptune. Okay, go talk to her. I guarantee it'll make her night. Thanks. You're a really cool guy, John. All right, don't lie to my face. <laughs> yeah, there's so much character development this season. All right. Maybe it's volume. Only one thing left to do. Ask Pira! You idiot. Or Ruby. You, know, you gotta do Pira. I think we really need so this. Hmm. <laughs> Penny doing the robot. Little tipsy guy. That was not me though. Boys did a lot too. It's back to work. Well, I'm sure we can handle whatever gets thrown at us. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> Jean? That's amazing. An arc never goes back on his word. <laughs> now, do you want to stand there and laugh at me? Or do you want to dance? Oh my I god, it's amazing. To dance. Oh. <gasps> Red, this is happening. Ah, no. What is happening? <laughs> ah, doing a dance. <laughs> Good choreo. I had no idea you were a dancer. Yeah, well, these things tend to happen when you grow up with seven sisters. So, what made you change your mind? Huh? You said you were embarrassed at first. What made you come talk to me? You're looking at him. You've got some good friends looking out for you. I like how they both have blue eyes. Is there nothing gonna happen with Mercury? All right, good. Now that now we got something. It appears finally. all the dancers have partners. How long do I have? We should probably be home by midnight to be safe. I'll keep my eye on the clock. Oh, infiltration of the school while all the teachers are outside. They're gonna go into Ospins. Off. Oh, Ruby, see him. See him, Ruby. Do it. Come on. See them. Come on, old silver eyes. Yeah, spot her. Mask on or whatnot.
Take him out. Yeah. Excuse me. Nice ass shot. No one's allowed in this area. Stop. Nice tushy there, Cinder. Damn, this is like Tron right now. Sick. What? Dude. Dude. Hey man, do you know the Wi-Fi password? It's broken, <laughs> but replace the E with a three and add a pound symbol to the end. Nice. I love that bit. <laughs> she literally just had... <laughs> That's a great callback from Volume 1. A party guest is leaving. <sighs> Which one? Ironwood. I guess the generals had enough fun for one night. You know. The We're black chess here. piece. Hello? Is anyone there? Excuse me. You know, it's not a masquerade party, so why don't you take off that? What was that? Oh, my God. We're just closed. Should we be worried? Hardly. We'll be scratching their heads long after we've finished what we came here for. So then what now? Enjoy the rest of the night. After all, it is a party. Black Knight? Black Knight. Where's that the Black King? Uh, that was a good episode. Good episode. I was expecting there to be more involved in that. Actually, I, I was expecting some kind of fight or to um, Emerald and uh, la, 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 la. Mercury to, to reveal themselves. Um, but they didn't. So that was interesting. 
I liked um I like all the little bits that they have in this episode. The, you know, the Ironwood, you know, asking for Glenda's hand, um, because there's obviously some history there, and I like how they're implying that a lot. John and Ruby both being social outcasts and how that they're, they have a real friendship there, and I I like that a lot. Switching into, like, Kira, speaking of John, I really liked um, Kira's whole speech. The voiceover acting was a little... It seemed off. I don't know if there was something with the voiceover acting or it was the animation that both seemed off. There was something there that kind of threw me. But in general, I really liked the dialogue, um, just the speech and the idea of that her being up on a pedestal. Um, and that's kind of the whole re- and that being the whole reason why she likes John so much is that he didn't even know who she was and just like threw her off as some other person because she was not he wasn't as attracted to her as she was as he was to Wise. And so I love that. Um, and God damn, that was so fucking funny with that dress. I was dying and I love that John had that character moment. There was such a good character moment for John. Um, and, and I like that, uh, N- Neptune came up to John and asked for his advice and, and that he, you know, he's, he tries really hard at being cool and that he's the cool guy and he can't dance. So that was pretty funny. Another little thing that I really liked was uh, Ruby, uh, not Ruby, but Penny doing the robot for a hot second and then her guard, you know, having, you know, clicking his heel listening to the fight. So those were all really, really good. So let's talk about Cinder and that little scene we had with her doing her Mission Impossible bit. Um, Some of you guys told me before about the needle that she was actually sewing dust into her clothes and we really got to see that this episode. It was really cool. Um, and I loved how they would glow every time that she used it as if it was showing off the muscles that she was using in that moment. And that was what used, what she used to push herself. Um, she had some stuff that we haven't seen before uh, using dust, how she used the vial and had created those kind of shards of glass to throw at Ruby. So that was really cool. And just I liked how she the dust kind of would spray off of her and create, allow her to create certain things to a degree. She, I I believe she created her swords kind of out of that dust out of thin air. So that was really cool. Um, And I really think that's a very interesting and unique way to demonstrate her abilities with uh, dust. This is really interesting. I really want to see more of what we have from her. And I really liked that callback to that episode where John was being bullied by Cardin about uh, if you can put, you can have your locker sent anywhere you want and having Ruby call in her scythe uh, in that same way was pretty funny. It was pretty cool. A little callback. I enjoyed that. Um, there are two other things that I noticed in this episode. One being uh, Cinder's tattoo. It almost looked like a heart that had like center of it taken out and cu- carved out of the edges. So it was. Int- I didn't know what that was. Any of you guys know what that tattoo symbol stands for? Let me know in the comments. Unless it's like a real big spoiler, don't let me know. But just like what it means or if there's a... I'm assuming there's significant meaning to it because that was a pretty nice shot that they gave us there. And the one last thing that I had to note from this episode was the Black King. I believe it was a Black King chess piece. And that was interesting. I like how they have that kind of callback to, what is it, Chapter 8, Players in Pieces. Uh, from volume one so that episode i think it was a callback to that episode and and i don't remember which team picked up the black king uh let me let me know in the comments below which of the three teams that were in that jumping point uh cardin uh john's team and ruby Uh, let me know in the comments below and and uh i didn't have much else out of this episode i just want to see what's going on for the next one uh so like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know you guys know what you thought of my reaction, my review, and uh, if you want me to do any reviews for you. And as always, my otakus, Jedi Otaku, out. Hey, otakus, if you like this video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button down below or check out this video here on my left. Or is it your right, my left? Or is it your left, my right? This internet thing is confusing. Guys, help. Anybody? Do I work with anybody? Or do with it? Hello? Hello? Hello?